Yo, what's up everyone? This is Kay, and Constantine has one of the most amazing looking Noble Phantasms I've ever seen. I mean, just look at that. That animation quality, especially for a freaking mobile game, I mean, it's pretty good. Which is why I'm willing to part away from some of my sync cords and tickets that I was saving for, uh, who was it? Uh, shit, what was his name? Uh, what is it? Uh, Charlemagne, man, my my mind just blanked out for a second. Charlemagne, we saw the silhouette, and all of you know I've been wanting to summon him, or I've been waiting for him since ever, whenever Fate Excella came out. I forgot when that was, uh, two years ago maybe, but uh, it's confirmed, early June, early July, I can't quite remember. Regardless, let's go back to Constantine. People said he's like a five-star Saint George, so that's quite the reputation to live up to because Saint George is freaking amazing. So I'm willing to spend, I think, uh, 30 Saint Quartz and uh, 20 tickets, right? The usual 33 summons. So let's just get started. Now, I actually don't know what his skills do. Um, I saw his NP. It's some kind of support with defense buff, but uh, I actually don't know too much. You know what? Look at it right now. Uh, Constantine Fate Wiki. All right. So, okay. So his first skill: uh, increase own NP generation. Okay, that's not bad. And he has a taunt ability for only one turn, though. Mm, I was hoping for three turns, but let's see the rest of his abilities. Uh, gain critical stars, twenty stars. So he's, from what I can tell, he's going to be a crit supporter, maybe a crit servant. We'll see. Uh, second skill, increase party's attack by uh, 4 3 turns by 20%, usual amount. <clears throat> increase party's buster performance, so he's a buster crit supporter. Uh, increase critical damage for Roman allies. There's not much Roman allies, I think. Uh, try to think, there's five? Nero, Nero, well, Nero and Nero Bright. Caligula, Romulus, Romulus, Caesar, so six. <clears throat> I think there's a few more. But not a whole lot, so a bit more uh, situational. Regardless, it still increases your team's buster and uh, primary attack percentage, so not too bad. Uh, and of course, you gain crit stars. Uh, third skill. Oh wow, that's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of things to look or it's a lot of buffs. Uh, charge own MP gauge up to thirty percent. Okay, that's all magli great. I to say good and great at the same time. <laughs> uh. Let's see, critical damage, oh, so he can crit as well. Wait, he has two busters. Okay, he has two busters. And a buster NP, but his buster NP doesn't deal damage. Oh, well, crit doesn't do anything with NP though, so. <laughs> so only, he only has two busters to use. Um, huge star generation, and I'm getting shit with the first 11 shot. That was horrible. Four. Four star CEs only. All right, let's just do the tickets. Um, ooh, what's with this loading? Connecting. Did I get him? Show me that Rider Gold card, baby. Oh, it's a freaking CE. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, going back to his skill. Uh, oh, oh, where did I left off on? Oh yes, yeah, star regeneration. Ten every turn. That's really good. That's a uh, maximum broken twenty thirty. Oh, a unique ability on death activation. So you want him to die. Charges last allies NP gauge. Um, so placement will be very important. Uh, you want to make sure you have the right uh, DPS servant on the last slot. Uh, so increases NP gauge for that ally by 30%. Not too bad. Uh, increase their critical damage. Again, with that crit support and further, or he'll also grant additional star regeneration for three additional turns. Another 10 stars every turn, so that's quite solid. It's actually really good. My only problem with him is his taunt is uh, only for one turn. So if he doesn't die, you're just relying on luck for him or random attacks. Let me go back to his first skill. Uh, and six turn cooldown, so it's a five turn downtime for a one turn taunt. That's it's kind of you, you really gotta time it. Because if it's three turns, you know he's gonna die, <laughs> especially if he's gonna absorb an NP attack uh, and with additional regular attacks too. So 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the synergy between the third skill and first skill. The taunt just needs to be longer, in my opinion. But let's take a look at his Noble Phantasm. Uh, bust increase own buster performance. Now that's weird. I know he his skill increases um buster for allies, but an additional buster support for other other allies would be even better. So you want him to crit, and you want. I guess he's a Buster crit servant until he dies. And then you'll have a second bus. I, I don't know. The synergy is a bit weird. So tr traditionally, you want one solid crit servant, you know, one that will absorb all the stars. Um, but. I don't know. I feel like that Buster performance for his uh, NP should apply to everyone. You know, two Buster buff for everyone. But it grants self invisibility for one attack only and for one whole turn. Which is not really good. One attack only, so he can't tank multiple NPs. And oh, what is this? Oh, wait. That's not right. What the hell is that? Oh my god, it's a pretender. Or the pretender. I, I would be happy, but I chose her as my SR ticket. So if I haven't known. If I had just had. I mean, I obviously I can't read the future but I could have chosen someone else if <laughs> I was going to summon her in the future regardless oh whatever NB2 uh, reduce damage shaking of Roman allies and increase party's defense NP is a bit iffy he can't tank multiple NP attacks uh, his taunt is only for one turn so you really have to time it correctly if you want him to die with the same activation with his uh, third skill. Or in synergy with his third skill. And you can't really protect everyone from AoE NP attacks. And my sh shitty summons are hurting right now. <laughs> I mean, I did got 4 star soon, so can't complain there. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about him. I mean, his NP looks great, but... Seems like an. I don't see him being a St. George replacement, though. I don't know what some players are talking about. St. George can tank attacks, and then with a the guts, you know, it gives you that reassurance. And of course, he's going to die. Once you get his max bond CE, it'll also protect your allies. So, Constantine seems more of a crit buster supporter, somewhat of attacker as well. Um. But you, if you're using him in battle, you really have to... There's a lot of gimmick to it, you know? He's not a simple servant to use, basically. Which, I mean, to be fair... Uh, it gives players more strategic... Or, yeah... Gives them more strategy to use, I guess. But, by all means, he could be broken. I'm just not impressed with his skill. But some players uh, may test him out and... You know, somehow he'll break the game. And this is my last summon. And it's a servant. And it is an assassin. Nope, I, I didn't get him. But that's okay. Time to grind for <laughs> Charlemagne. Um, because I need to get that guy. But comment down below to let me know what are your thoughts on Constantine. Do you think he's amazing? A godly servant? I just think he's okay. There's some synergy problems. I feel like he'll be better with a future upgrade. But again, that's just me. Uh, also comment down below to let me know if you summoned them or not, uh, how you plan on using him. I'd like to see or read some strategic uh, elements to using this servant. But uh, good luck on your summons. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Till next time.